every time I fight, I feel like I'm the main event, so they, they all feel pretty similar. I know eventually you wouldn't be the main event of a pay-per-view, but for now, this kind of slide of, you know, kicking it off, getting things, setting the tone, is that like the perfect spot for you? Yeah, that's where I prefer to be, you know, 7 p.m., I know what time I'm fighting. I get about an hour immediately after, so I can go watch the, you know, the last couple fights, so it's, a, it's actually really nice, I like it. I'd rather either be, you know, opening up the main card or the main event, so I don't see any other position to be in. That calmness that you feel ahead of this one, do you know what to attribute that to? I'm confident, I'm prepared, I had a great camp. Um, that last camp I went to that fight with like hurt ribs and I was like, well, hopefully he doesn't grab me. That's literally like the last three weeks I wasn't letting anybody grab me, anyone, you know. So going into this fight, I feel very healthy and uh, I think that's probably plays a, plays a little bit in the, into that. A lot of people look at this as kind of a milestone, this test, right? The first top 10 opponent for you. Are you looking at this as a, a milestone in your career or a chance to, to prove anything? Yeah, beating Pedro will be a big deal. Um, I think he's only lost to former world champions, but uh, not just beating Pedro, but finishing Pedro would be a massive deal. Um, you know, he's, like I say, he's fought and lost to only former world champions. With that being said, I do believe I will be his toughest fight. Um, and I, I think he's my toughest fight as well. Last thing to me, I mean, a big win here. You know, you've been patient up to this point, like not rushing things, right? But as you said, big deal over a top guy. Do you start to accelerate the run and then look to the top of the division, or do you still kind of take the, the patient approach to moving up? Yeah, um, we'll have to see how this fight goes, and you know, maybe I'll spit out a name after you know Joe Rogan standing next to me, call someone out. Um, I'm a couple fights away from the title fight. I think about you. Over no, Sean, no, again, the thing about Sean Mount. Well, Max, uh, you know, two big wins to kind of earn your way back here, man. You know, not asking for any gifts, but, you know, making your way back here. What's it supposed to feel like, you know, kind of putting in that work and, and getting back to the spot? I feel great. I feel good. I mean, I've been saying it, you know, every fight we go in is on the home. Every fight we attack, like it's my first fight and my last fight. You know? I, I mean, does that make preparation for this fight easier or more difficult? I mean, you know, I had 10 rounds with guy. I mean, if you watch from the first to the second fight, two different fighters, you know, and from the second to this fight is going to be different fighters again. But I feel good, I feel great, I feel on. I got to spend 15 minutes with this guy, 10 rounds with this guy. I've been saying it all week, man. We can be blessed if we go above three. I can't wait. I mean, you've been in nothing but big fights for years now, right? But I mean, the circumstances around this one, the trilogy, um, you know, kind of what's at stake. I mean, does this does this feel like a, a different moment for you, or a, a more important moment than maybe some of your other fights? Uh, this legacy, it's a legacy fight, 100. percent You know, as you said, uh, you guys all know what pound for pound ranking he is. You guys know what pound for pound ranking I am, and we're on the upper, we're on the the higher end of the pound for pound ranks. You know, and and these all happened in in the past decade. You know, I mean, it did. Only once come to mind, and that's DC and Jones. So, this is a legacy fight. This is huge in every way. Not, not to be honest, I really, you know, like people calling us the main event of this card. You know, and they're saying a lot. That's saying a lot about this fight. So, that's what it is. Does this have to be a finish? I mean, given how close the other fights were and how the judges kind of broke your heart a little bit, I mean, do you feel like, I gotta finish this fight? We see what happens, you know. You know, at the end of the day, it is what it was. You know, you know crowd was still no, like you said. The first two fights, even the second fight, you know, Dana White was, Dana White said what he said, about, about half of the UFC roster said what he said. So, at the end of the day, you know, I, I wasn't trying to add no fuel to the fire, you know, he just, he let, that, he let it go, he move on, and we did what we did, we're here now. Last thing for me, I know you got to focus on Saturday night and get that win, but where does this rivalry go? I mean, do we go four, do we go five? Like, what has to do to, to put an end to this? Uh, we'll see what happens, you know, first things first is, Getting the job done on Saturday. My name ain't Dan White, as you know. It ain't Sean Shelby, McManor, Hunter Campbell. I don't meet with these guys on Tuesdays, so that's their job. And I'm no matchmaker. I'm a fighter. Whatever they want to do, we want to do. You know, there's a lot of history in a weight class above me that I have. You know, and I got a history with the guy who I consider. Big, big opportunity. I guess what's the most like you right now? 
o Alex oito meses aí na sua carreira no UFC e já está aí agora lutando na semana internacional do UFC, como são suas emoções agora? Bom, eu estou bem para essa luta, né? É, treino muito para isso. Sei que é um card muito importante, então eu vou aproveitar esse momento. Well, uh, I feel very good. I feel very hard for this fight. I know it's a very important card, so I'm very well prepared for this one. I know you said once you got here you weren't chasing Israel Adesanya, but now you're paired up on a card with him. Certainly no accident. Um, does that change your focus a little bit in the fact that you want to fight him? Well, you know you said that you were focused on Adesanya, but now you're also in a card with him. Did you get out of the way of something you? No, for me it doesn't change anything. I had a date, right? Se não me engano, seria 30 de julho. Didn't let the, them have a shot at me, so now he gets a shot. Good on him. You know that's exactly what I would do in the same situation. So uh, now he's uh, obviously getting credited with a, a, third, a third chance. So uh, he, he's done his uh, what he was meant to do. So good on him. Talk about your preparation for this, right? I mean, you are two and zero against them, right? So I mean, do you, do you feel there's a need to make adjustments in the lead up, or is it like, hey, no, we we've been in there for ten rounds. We know what this guy has. We know the rhythm. Oh, there's always going to be adjustments. I don't think I need to change like. Uh, too much, right? Yeah, yeah that's it. There we go. Cheers. Good lad. That's no, no, rough. There we go. Can we start a little question? <laughs> yeah, no, no. Um, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, man, I think uh, obviously you need a, there's going to be different strategies, uh, you know, and how we approach it. There's going to be uh, things that we want to know what he's going to do, but at the same time, you know, my style and where I'm at right now uh, will, will definitely uh, be enough to, to deal with whatever challenges come forward. But. I'm expecting Max to maybe even switch things up. Um, I'm still expecting that chess match and strategy and all that type, type of stuff. So um, I need to be on it and uh, I will be on a uh, fight night. Are you expecting more, desperation might be the wrong word, but like aggression, like he knows, like this is it. Yes, he worked back here, but it's probably not gonna happen again. So are you expecting that out of him? Yeah, man, uh, yeah. I think he's uh, gonna still fight the fight. He has to fight to try and win. Uh, he knows it's not gonna be an easy task. So, uh, you know, he'll, he'll definitely, uh, you know, try and find uh, the right way to win. But uh, at the same time, he's a gamer, man. So, you know, he's going to bring it. That's a part of his style. You know, he wants to overwhelm people with uh, mentally and physically. He wants to get in, get in your head and, and come forward. So, you know, that's always going to be a part of his strategy. You know, I don't think he's going to sit back and, and wait or anything like that. So, um, you know, I, I think he, he will have uh, some things and some strategies going into this. But we're going to probably see the same Max. He's going to come forward and want to put hands on me. And, and I ain't gonna bat, you know, you won't see a backward step from me. So it's gonna make for a fun fight. Uh, chess match, very exciting, high pace, and let's do it. Last thing for me, uh, you know, obviously you focus on Saturday, but you know, get the win here. Is, is the work done at 145? Is there more work to be done? Or is it time to start looking at, you know, other options? Oh man, the work's not done, you know. But we've got a stacked division. Like, we've got a lot of people uh, coming. Maybe, uh, maybe we have to, you know, sit and wait a little bit. And that's why you always got other options too, you know, where? Thank <laughs> you.